at that time jesus told his disciples this parable it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his pro- property to one he gave five talents to another two to another one to each according to his ability then he went away he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and he made five talents more so also he who had the two talents made two talents more but he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money and now after a long time the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them and he, he who had received the five talents came forward bringing five talents more saying master you delivered me to me five talents here i have made five talents more his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a little i will set you over much enter into the joy of your master and he also who had the two talents came forward saying master you delivered to me two talents here i have made two talents more his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over little i will set you over much enter into the joy of your master he also who had received the one talent came forward saying master i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed so i was afraid and i went and hid your talent in the ground here you have what is yours but his master answered him you wicked and slothful servant you knew that i reap where i have not sown and gather where i scattered no seed then you ought to give you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and at my coming i should have received what was my own with interest so take the talent from him and give it to him who has the 10 talents for to every one who has will more will be given and he will have an abundance but from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth the gospel of the lord my dear friends a few weeks ago a young man came to me and he was pouring out all the frustration of his heart obviously he had taken a new job and his boss seemingly was very demanding on him he would not appreciate him he would not encourage him but kept discouraging him and finding fault with him so much so this young man was thinking of quitting his job i said to him life is like that perhaps your boss is trying to bring the bring out the best out of you maybe he is trying to test you you cooperate with him and see what happens right enough a week ago he came and told me that his boss has given him a promotion that he never expected to have the servants in the gospel are two types one is one who buried his talent the other is the one who used their talents talents are given to us by god talents are great gifts that god blesses us with he wants us to use them not only to develop ourselves 
but also to enhance this world and make it an even more beautiful place to be. The servants in the gospel knew that God had not finished with, him, with them. And that's why they used their talents and made more. And God, the master, rewards them with more and more. Today we celebrate the feast of a great saint, Saint Augustine. Saint Augustine lived an ordinary life. He lived a sinful life, so to say. He was looking for joy and happiness through the values of the world and nothing satisfied him. Until one day, he realized and he said, Late have I known you, Lord. God touched him at a particular point of his life. And Augustine responded beautifully. Not to forget the prayers of his mother, Saint Monica, which helped him also to realize God's love. Augustine's life had such a transformation that now he is known as one of the giants of the Catholic Church. Saint Augustine opened his heart to God's invitation to follow him, to love him, and to find the true joy and happiness. Our God is not an ordinary God. He is a God of surprises. He brings down the proud and raises the lowly. He does things that we cannot imagine. Out of simple fishermen, he makes disciples and apostles to spread his good news to the whole world. Like St. Augustine, God calls each one of us to experience his love, to allow ourselves to be transformed by him, by his word. God calls us to experience his love and asks us to live a life of fidelity, a life of accountability, so that we too might flower into the beautiful persons that God has destined us to be, that God has called us to be. Today, as we celebrate the feast of this great saint, let us pray along with him, saying, Our hearts were made for you, and will not rest until they find their rest in you. I'd like to end with a little song. Seek our God in hope, moving as we go, with justice, peace and love, in anything that grows, in anything at all. He suddenly may be, for everything is His, you know, especially you and me. Surprise, surprise, God is a surprise, right before your eyes, it's baffling to the wise. Surprise, surprise, God is a surprise, open up your eyes and see, open up your eyes and see.